In today's Roblox spray paint video, I thought it would be interesting to implement some characters to my graffiti piece. And I thought to really personalize it, I would add my Roblox avatar and refine those really early design choices I made way back in the first Roblox spray paint video. So let's head into it. And like with every other graffiti piece, let's begin with the sketching. Of course, I'm looking back and forth at my reference that I've sketched on paper. I'm really happy flicking back through my sketchbook to see all my old sketches, seeing how the letters start evolving in a way, in like really small ways. These letters aren't the most ridiculous because I am still a beginner. Okay, so now we swiftly move on to the coloring. In the intro, I spoke about how I wanted to revisit some design choices I made all the way back in my old Roblox spray paint video, the very first one. In that video, I showed off some very, very like unrefined graffiti pieces where the text was yellow and I added some form of sprinkles to it. So there was like a vague, vague idea of like making these letters look like food. So with this color choice, I decided I really wanted to go for that donut kind of feel because that's what I was trying to get across in that video so going for these like brown or golden brown tones here with like i don't know how to say it but like this bagel brown <laughs> color so now i begin tidying up the letters and their shapes using this darker brown outline and when i was doing this outline i was really trusting the process because all the lines and all the lettering look very very solid and angular and in the end i wanted it to look like some form of soft donut bread type thing but yeah this was really really early on in the process and i just really had to trust my gut So going in with the dark brown again, I really wanted to make it readable that these letters are really like chunky, like massive and really give them this kind of thickness. I'm not just adding the thicknesses like randomly. I am following a vanishing point that I have on sketch down on paper. It's not as clear here since I'm just immediately applying the 3D element, but there is a vanishing point here at the bottom middle of the letters. And now since I was using a lot of brown tones kind of mixing together, especially with the brick wall, the undertone worked out really, really well. It really lifted the letters off the page and it just gave this immediate sense of depth. I really could have been more refined with how I implemented the underglow, but I feel like since you're seeing these letters as a collective, I feel like the roughness of the underglow was pretty effective as I feel like it all really sold the idea that this was not like a solid, clean, flat texture surface but more this rough cake type material texture To really give off that kind of bagel texture look to it, I started to build up all these subtle highlights. You can see how vague they are at first, but you can, you can see with just the subtle build up of the white and the low opacity, it's really starting to come across as this kind of bread texture, I feel. And just those little tiny, tiny bits of highlight across the letters that act like the shine, it was really starting to get together now. And here I decided to go for a little bit more of a darker tone just to really get that contrast across. So the characters here, you can see they're almost entirely different art styles. When I was sketching them out, I was really worried that these won't match together at all, but I just decided to focus on just finishing the line work anyway, just to see where it goes.
and you can see here that I'm trying to refine the line work here, trying to tidy it up just a little bit, vary the line thicknesses to make it a little bit more interesting. With the colouring, just like the graffiti letters, I start off with the base and then I go back again with the opacity tool. Here the opacity tool really helped blend the characters with the art style or the graffiti letters quite well because if I left the characters without any sort of opacity like toning and shading, it would feel really really off. And with the bubbles, I thought, again, it's harking back to like a old design color palette choice. Yeah, the opacity tool was just really, really satisfying in this process. You can see how just building up the lightness immediately started bringing out like this spherical three-dimensional shape to it. At this point I still felt like the characters and the bubbles still felt quite separate to each other so this was quite a risky move and I decided to outline the bubbles with like a solid colour. I did it twice over to really like marry these aesthetics together a bit more. I was really sceptical but I felt like it all worked out with the outline. And now of course to not make the icing not look as flat as it was here just adding that subtle bit of opacity to build that shadow underneath and now it's really starting to look like a donut type thing This was quite a crazy graffiti piece, but I feel like it really worked out well in the end. And if you'd like, you can watch more spray paint videos on the screen now. Leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you all next time.